Hi everyone, this is our free preview, our sneak preview of this season of Love After Lockup. If you'd like to hear us cover the rest of it, please consider subscribing to our Patreon, Supercast, or Apple subscriptions. You get this at the $5 tier, which is Murder Club. So thank you, enjoy the show, and beware of our filthy language. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Loomis Recap, the podcast where we dye our hair bright pink and we bring our semi truck to pick up our boyfriend. In perhaps the worst dress I've ever seen on a body in my entire life. That dress was real bad. That dress was real. It was Sheen 100%. Oh, I don't I even think, think that. I think apologies it was to Sheen. Apologies to Sheen. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like, I think if that if that dress comes within 100 feet of any open flame, it's going it's right going up. up. It's going right up. It's going right up. That and thing listen, is plastic. Listen. I've had a lot of bad dresses in my life. Same, same. This, same, same. I don't know what this was. It's not good is what yeah. it was. Not good. Amanda, you have a Ewan McGregor correction? I do have a Ewan McGregor c- correction. So on, I believe, where were we talking about him? I don't know. Recently, I th- maybe it was UK. It was Gypsy Rose yesterday. Gypsy Rose. I said that Ewan McGregor played Anakin Skywalker. He did not. He played Obi-Wan Kenobi. Oh, yes, he did. Christian okay. Hayden said I he cannot act that. his way out of a paper mm-hmm. bag, played Anakin. I'm so. sorry. I should have known that. It's okay. That's, that's a failure on my part. It's all good. It's all good. We were going you rely quickly. On, you rely on me to pick up the very little sci-fi I knowledge know. that is spread around here. Right. You, you're the so. only one who has it because mm-hmm. I don't unless it's mm-hmm. Star Wars adjacent. But yes, I I realized as I was listening to that episode, I went, oh, no, it's not who he was. He was Obi-Wan. So yeah, there we go. I, I just better. want to tell everyone, Amanda's cats, Leo and Toby, are bathed in sunlight behind her on the bed. And cleaning themselves simultaneously it's really kind of a beautiful peaceful sight (laughs) (laughs) um yeah we had some time on my lap this morning drinking coffee you know they're cute i have to tell you what happened to us so yesterday we celebrated our anniversary correct and we went out to dinner and we took a picture of ourselves yes you looked very never do never do very cute thank you so we went out to like dinner. Timmy's PBR. <laughs> That's his dress clothes. That's his dress up clothes. <laughs> I love it. Um, it was so funny because we're getting in the truck and he opened the door for me and I'm like, uh, what are you doing? Oh, look at him being on a date. Yeah, he's like, I'm opening the door for you. I'm like, why now? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so anyway, we go to the restaurant and um I was I was not happy because we sat there for half an hour before anybody even came over to us. Ew. And that drives okay. me crazy. But I'm not one of those people who goes crazy on weed stuff. They yeah. were clearly overwhelmed. It wasn't their fault. Mm-hmm. But eventually I had to flag somebody down for a beer. <laughs> so right. I need something here. So we flagged this young man down and he comes over to wait on us. And he's very apologetic and he's very sweet. And it yeah. wasn't their fault. They were short staffed. So he had a beautiful accent. And it was obvious right from the start. Mm, so okay. he leaves the table and Timmy and I are like, what's that accent? I'm trying to place it. And I right. said, it reminds me of my boss who at my former job who was Romanian. Okay. I'm like, I feel like it's Romanian or like Romanian. And Timmy's like, no, no, no. I think it's Austrian. Okay. 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 So then all of a sudden I'm like, oh my God, he reminds me of Florian. I think he's oh, Albanian. Albanian. <laughs> so the guy Was he a comes- vampire? So the guy comes back, right? yeah, and he's wait. And I said, I ha- I just have to ask you. You have a really nice accent. I'm trying to place it. I said, is it Albanian? And he's like, Yeah, I'm Albanian. I'm like, Okay, okay. This fu- I- all of this has finally ma- meant something. I said, I just have to because it was weird because he kind of looked like Florian. So I said, I That's just have to show you. I said that you know somebody on my show that I watch is from Albania and you kind of look like him. And I showed him the picture. I'm like, look, I'm, I'm complimenting you. This guy's a model. Like, yeah. it's not like I'm like, here's Angela Deem. <laughs> like, I was like, I picked up, a, I pulled up a really hot picture of Florian from his better days when he mm-hmm. had clearly fed. An hour <laughs> right, right, when, he's, when he's been able to drink the blood of people. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. But the guy was like, you know, oh my God. And we were talking and da, 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 da. But anyway, I was like, this is my 90 day universe knowledge. Yes. Coming in the real world to be useful. There we go. And he probably was like, oh my God, someone recognizes my accent yeah. in freaking Scranton, Pennsylvania. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. There you go. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There you go. Yep. I'm like, he has a real Florian taste to him. And mm-hmm. I knew it immediately. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. So, see, guys, sometimes. All this trash is not for naught. 
It's not for not. It makes us smarter, better people. Mo sometimes. 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 Amanda. Speaking of not you, smart or better people. Are you excited for Love After Lockup this season? I'm thrilled about Love After Lockup. I so somebody in Backdoor Friends asked, can you just jump in to this, you know, I think Love you After Lockup? Can on this season. I think you can. There are two returning people. Mm-hmm. We've got Shantae and True. Mm-hmm. And they were in the Love Before Lockup mm-hmm. that, that was just on. And Love then we dirty. have that horrible woman in Keith, Latoya, Letitia. Is that Letitia? Letitia. I do not care for this woman at all. I do not care for how she raises her children. I'm no, not a fan. No, no, no. She was on before on a love during, I think a love during it lockup. Love during. But it wasn't this past season. It was the Correct. one before. So there are only two repeats. And and they do a pretty good job of filling in the blanks for you. I really do think you could jump in. Now, let's talk about where we're watching it. Yes. Oh, God. So I'm watching it on WeTV. I have my mom's uh, cable password and Mm. username. Okay. So get the, if you don't have cable, get the, to the WeTV app and pick up the phone, call grandma. Right. Get get a cable. And be like, hey, Graham, I need your uh, Comcast username. (laughs) Or Fios login. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, We watched it last night on Philo. Which we had never downloaded before. Todd's like, what is this? Because I was like, I need to watch this tonight. And he has some ways that he accesses things. So Right, but we don't. Shh, we, we don't, don't know about that. about that here. We don't talk about that here. No. <laughs> so we don't know about things like that. So I go to Philo because I just do the search on the Roku TV. Mm-hmm. And that was one of the options. Mm-hmm. So we got the seven-day trial of Philo, which I also understand you can watch Gypsy Rose there. Heard oh, that, good. Heard that okay. on the street. Two birds, one stone. That said, it's like $25 a month. So we will not be having it for That's more than a, a week. Lot. That's a lot of fucking money for some mm. rando channel. Mm. Yeah. I didn't think about the WeTV app and using my mother's login. Yeah. Yeah. I'll call it, call up your mom. Get oh, it. I don't, I don't even have to call her up. I, you I, have it. I have it. Yeah. I have it all. <laughs> I have Figure many, many cable logins. <laughs> yeah, I do too. <laughs> Guys. Trust me, as a parent, I'm telling you, your parents want nothing more than the best for you. They'll share your, they'll share their cable path. Or path Why path. would they want to deny you life after lockup? And if they don't have cable, this is where you got to talk them into getting it. Right. <laughs> Put it on their tab, not your tab. It's right. Fine. Right. Um, also, All Black is supposed to have them. Yes, but the All Black app is terrible. The Wee TV app is terrible. Yeah, they're both. I think they're. I think they're the same people. I think they have the same three-year-olds coding these apps and putting them out there. Now They're I'm going, real bad. I'm going to WeTV in my browser, and that is a much better experience than the app. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Good to know. Also, to know. I've heard on the street that if you type it in real quick to YouTube within 12 hours that it airs, you can Sometimes you may get see a full episode. <laughs> Sometimes. Sometimes it's gone. Um, I also, I want to let you know if you don't have it and you can't join us, I'm going to paint a picture for you. Yeah, absolutely. That maybe you won't need to see these people. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's the best I we, can do. We've had a number of people tell us that they listen to us, even about shows they don't watch, because we give enough, or they can't stand we to watch it. it. All. We give it all. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. Um, all right. So this is on your Murder Club tier. If you're listening, you already have it. <laughs> um, and we you're are able to hear this. You're on the tier where you hello, can hear hello, this. Are you there? Hello. Are you there? <laughs> My gram used to call my voicemail on my cell phone and be like, Amy, are you there? <laughs> um, also on this tier, you are going to get Prison Confessions Gypsy Rose, which mm-hmm. we are starting very soon. Maybe very next soon. week. <laughs> sure. Whenever. Um, on the $8 tier, which is now down the rabbit hole tier, which mm-hmm. is where your sister wife stuff lives and things that fascinate us and take us down a rabbit hole. Things like cults, things like Cody Brown, things like really infamous true crime cases, things like things like cults, <laughs> things like Cody Brown, <laughs> things like David Koresh. Okay, things like David Koresh. Yes, you're gonna get as soon as we're done with uh, prison confessions, we're gonna jump up there and cover this Murdoch situation because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. I need to know. Yeah, I need. Yeah. To. I've also been clamoring to do the staircase. I I've know never you, seen need it. you need yeah. to. You need to. Yes. Uh, you have your updated twin flame board, which now includes Timmy and, and Rod Blanchard, mm-hmm. which is great. Mm-hmm. You are getting real close to not having any more room. I'm just going to say that. 
Uh, well, friend, there's no danger of me putting anybody from this show on my Twitter. No, 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 no. <laughs> and, and my friend Karen commented, said, is that David Koresh? So yes, oh. Karen, that is David Koresh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Karen, where have you been? Yeah. 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 Come on, Karen. Obsessed with them in high school, reading Inside the Cult, The Branch Davidians. <laughs> I should put that book up there. <laughs> You're a lunatic. <laughs> All right, okay. here we go. This is Love After Lockup. According to ETV, it's season five, episode 30. <laughs> sure, sure. It's we'll called Do I Smell Like Jail? Yes. <clears throat> okay. Our first couple that we're going to meet is Zaria and Troy. Okay. okay. Yeah. So Zaria is 32. She's mm-hmm. an executive director. And Troy is 29. And his crime was criminal possession of a weapon and armed robbery. And he is serving seven years. Mm-hmm. They're in Syracuse, New York, two hours north of me. Let's go see them. And they, no, no, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> and they are married three years. Okay. Right. So she's in Syracuse, like I said, and it's three days until Troy is out. Her parents real involved in the church. Very oh, similar to what we yeah. saw in Forbidden Love this week. Very similar. Yes. Very, very similar. They might be Pentecostal. I'm they not might sure. Be. I don't know. I don't know. But they're real into Jesus and they're real into their church. They're real into Jesus. Her parents are bishop and a pastor. Right. They're super strict, she says, and she rebelled at 15. Now, dad is a real character. Dad likes to wear some Flava Flav glasses <laughs> and be running around the church, and he spent some time in a prayer closet. Yes, he did. <laughs> he literally goes, I'm going into like, the prayer, prayer closet. closet. <laughs> prayer closet. Like, I don't think it's the same as Lydia's prayer closet. Now, those of you who don't know, Lydia Plath had a prayer closet in their old home on Welcome yeah. to Plathville, where she had... Pictures of her brothers and sisters and their relationships, which was real weird. And I don't know what was and happening. Scripture there. written on the wall. Yeah. So, oh, Lydia. Mom says Troy better be a preacher in this church when he gets out of jail. And Zariah is like, uh, no, no, <laughs> not he's not going to do it, Mom. He doesn't want to do it. We learned that Zariah was married before to her son's father, who was also incarcerated. But it sounds like. He, okay, so he's been incarcerated since the son was five. So it sounds like she was with him in the free world. and But then not very long. No, well, it would be yeah. five years. Yeah. But, but I mean, they weren't, their relationship outside of jail was not very long. It had to be five years, right? Because the son is five. Their relationship when he was not in prison was not very long. Before oh. he went to prison. He went to prison when the son was five. Okay. Okay. Then I don't know what the fuck. So I'm they had five about. years. Okay. In my brain, you know somehow I thought it was. Yes, I'm with you now. Yeah. 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 I, you're, I'm the problem, not you. <laughs> I'm like five you're years. Like five years. Five years. <laughs> I love you, guys. It's it's you know nine in the morning. We're warming up. We're <laughs> Just, warming up. My brain is not turned on yet. <laughs> Five years. Five years. My so, five say five. My five say five. Well, she definitely knew him when she conceived the kid. <laughs> yes. And she definitely then, knew him. He went to jail when the kid was five. They had a span of five years. <laughs> <laughs> you did some real Amy math on that one. <laughs> I'm a political science girl, not a math girl. Go on. Okay. So she met Troy through this ex husband. Right. Troy was her ex-husband's bunkie. <laughs> they were visiting and he pointed out Troy. So they're in a visiting situation. Say, right. say you're Zariah. Okay. Yes. And I'm going to be the ex-husband. Oh, ex-husband hey, Zariah. Zariah. Hey, yeah. uh, Zariah. How's our kid doing? <laughs> great. Uh, he's doing great. Oh, look at that hot guy over there. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to talk to him instead? <laughs> That's how she said it happened. He pointed him out. <laughs> is that better or worse than Nicole in Egypt with her fiance and Tara's like, you're mine now. And she's like, okay. <laughs> so oh. Troy says when he saw her, he was just head over heels. His gob was smacked. He says he saved, she saved him and she's beautiful. Great. Troy says he did not want to move forward with the marriage. So, oh, she tells us, I'm sorry. Troy did not want to move forward with the marriage. So she had to divorce the ex because he's like, while you're married, we're not doing this. Right. Troy calls now and mom is on, he's on speaker. So mom's talking to him. Mom's like, you're preaching, right? You're preaching. Mm. And she's like, look, you're going to find, she goes, we'll see what Jesus has to say about that. (laughs) 
And then she goes, God will help give you stability and direction. Okay. She's not wrong. She's in, not. In that, you know, when I think about things like AA, for example, you know, Correct. where faith is used as a tool to uh, get your shit together, mm -hmm. for lack of better terms. To, you know, tether you to something good yeah, having, better, having, versus being on tether, which is not as good. Right. Having some kind of, oh, my mother reminded me yesterday that there was a point in my childhood where she was driving me to my probation officer meetings. <laughs> What? When I got arrested for the abandoned house. What? <laughs> you don't know this story? No. So when I was 16, we used to Is this go... what made her send you to Catholic school? Yeah, kind of. Okay, got it. We used to go party at an abandoned house. As you do. And even though it was abandoned by our standards, the electricity was on the phone worked. Okay. Okay. And we would all just party there all the time. Party, party, party. You know, whatever. And I was hanging out with a group of, like, other couples. Okay. So me and my couple guy, we we had our own bedroom assigned to us. And everybody, like, had their own rooms. And it was like, we just lived there, kind of. Okay. <laughs> and uh, one Nothing day. Nothing remotely sketchy about this. One day, I was not there. And one of our couple friends got caught there by the police. Oh. Mm. And I look back now and I realize they ratted all of us out and we easily could have denied this. Right. But we didn't. Okay. So the cops come knocking on my parents' door and they charged me a criminal trespassing. And I had to go to court. My parents had to pay these people a lot of money and I got six months probation. Wow. Okay. Yep. Yep. Was your record expunged when you were 18? Yeah. Okay. Good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, it was real dumb. That was real dumb. Because, like, I, I was talking to my mom about it last night. She's like, one of the worst days of my parenting was when I had to drive you to your probation officer every six weeks. <laughs> and I said, Mom, why didn't we just deny it? Right. Like, do we think they were really doing a forensic <laughs> pat down on this house to right. find out who was in it? And they would have found a thousand samples of DNA. Like, it sure. wouldn't just have been me. Right. I don't know. Interesting. Mm. So, and my probation officer's name was Patty. Oh, mm -hmm. did we like Patty? I mean, she was fine. Okay. Whatever. But like, I had to have a curfew. I couldn't leave town. <laughs> I was on tether. <laughs> was she nicer or meaner than Mo and Lou? Oh, she was nicer than Mo and Lou. Okay, oh, good. my God. Yes, good. yes, good God. yes. She wasn't trying to kick me out of the state. <laughs> So there you go, Amanda. Your girl was on Tether. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. Yeah. A little I bit did. of my street cred there. <laughs> God. <laughs> uh, all right. Okay. <laughs> so back to this. <clears throat> so um, Troy hangs up and he tells us he's a spontaneous person. And That's always women, great. <laughs> women attract to me like magnets, he mm. tells us. And I have the says, same problem with men. <laughs> Just attract to me like magnets. Then he says, when I get out, I have to contact certain people in order for me to move forward. Amanda, what's going on here? What is this code for? Baby mamas? I, I'm, it's either baby mamas slash, slash hoochie mamas that he still has some relationship with. Mm -hmm. I mean, we think he has a code because he wouldn't date Zariah until she was divorced. But we don't know really where that... We don't know the lines... The border of that code. Yeah. We don't we know, know where that works. So it's either hoochie mamas or baby mamas, or mm -hmm. it's some like former drug dealers and stuff like that. That's what I'm wondering. Some if former it's former like co conspirators. Criminal thing. Yeah. Criminal co conspirators. But there's something not good here. Well, I'll tell you what, dad, Flava Flav, says he's going to be watching this like a hawk. <laughs> and I'm only calling him that because he's got those glasses that are very Flava Flav. They do. They do. Who, by the way, Kate Casey interviewed. I know. He was a delight. He was wonderful. He was I he was way him. better than the other person on that interview. Kim Plath. Well, yeah. Ooh. We'll talk about that on our Plathville. Okay. Mm -hmm. Can't wait. So Troy also adopted her son. Mm -hmm. So, okay. I have a question for you on this. Uh, Shubnam, legal. We need legal aid. Yes. She did not put his father's name on the birth certificate. Mm -hmm. Does that mean anybody can come along and adopt this kid? I think so. If I was the father, okay, so that, like, I just, 
I could say I'm not putting Timmy's name on the birth certificate, even though Timmy's over there screaming, they're my kids. I think it varies state by state as to what you can and can't do. Because I know, like right now in the Gypsy Rose world, you know, how people are trying to speculate. Is it Ryan's baby? Is it mm-hmm. Ken's Ken, baby? It's Ken's. It's Ken's. It, it, the timing doesn't work for Ryan. Yeah. But because she, if she gives birth while she is still legally married to Ryan, his mm-hmm. name goes on the birth certificate. Because what? they're legally married. No, 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 yeah. no, 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 no. <laughs> this I, this becomes a don't tread on me moment. No. <laughs> I'm just telling you what the what the rule is. I don't I'm not saying I Listen, agree with it. Listen, I cannot I can never fully assimilate into the board. This is the problem. <laughs> no. No. I don't like that. Don't tell me what name to put on my kid's birth certificate. But my thing is like if somebody was being real vengeful and refusing to put it on. Mm-hmm. Could anybody just swoop in and adopt your kid? Shubnam, we need you. We need you. I think it we varies you, state by state. We know state. you don't practice family law, but can't you just jump in on this one? I'm sure she can translate some stuff for us. Yeah. But like, here's the thing. So friends of mine, a lesbian couple, they used a sperm donor. I, yeah. I talked about them mm-hmm. when we did the thousand mm-hmm. kids guy. My friend, the non-gestational mother, okay. had to legally adopt these kids, even though they're married. Okay. Can't we just, can we do away with the mother, father on the birth certificate and just say parent one, parent two? Some, I think they're starting to do that in some places. But yeah, my friend had to go through the process of adopting all three of her children. Oh my God. And it was, I mean, she was so enraged, which I don't blame her. I don't blame her. I'd be fucking pissed too. These are my kids. (sighs) We have. This is all blowing my mind today. Yeah, there you okay. go. I, I don't understand five years. You don't understand adoption. It's fine. You found out I was on Tether. I found <laughs> out anybody could adopt my kids. But it put Jimmy's <laughs> name down. <laughs> all right. So later she's chilling with her sis- sister, Zion. Mm-hmm. And Zion lives with her. So they're having ho- they're having a hotel night. Oh, yeah. They're going to go to a hotel. Right. Because Zion's right, right. at the house. Right. Now, Soraya is worried his dick will be small. But she okay. says, you know, we talked about it and he's willing to get an implant if it's too tiny for me. Least of my concerns <laughs> when, my, when my betrothed is coming out of prison. Right, right. Which makes me think that if if he's one of two things here, either he's got like a micro penis and he's trying to. Mm, okay. To uh, set that, expectations. That could be a real situation. Could be yeah. a real situation. Or he's got a dick bigger than that guy in that picture with Larissa who clearly has something in his pocket that cannot Mm. be his dick. Mm. Or it's so big that it's going to be terrifying. I didn't see the Larissa dick pic. Oh, okay. So it's Larissa and her new boyfriend. Okay. And she's kind of sitting on like the bathroom counter. They're they're both in the mirror. Okay. We need to take a break. Okay. Hold on. I'm going to write this time down and I'm going (laughs) to find this right now. Okay. Hold on here. Whoa. Yeah. Guys, we're back. Whoa. (laughs) Whoa, what is, no, that's something in his pocket. Yeah, that can't be real. And here's the thing. Why are these men taking pictures with their penis erect? <laughs> oh, is this where I, I'm a little Pollyannish? Yeah. Yeah. Because okay. they want people to know how big their dick is. Amy. Okay, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're yeah. right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. All right, that was a journey. Sorry. Okay. So Zariah has, Troy says, sorry, Troy says, Hopefully that sister's gone by the time I get there. Mm, that yeah. sister. That's mm-hmm. going to go well. Zion tells the camera, I don't want to live with the man, so this is going to be a lot. Mm-hmm. Zariah has bought him gifts. She has jewelry. She <sighs> has a money bouquet with the crown. Okay. She, okay. Okay. She works for what she calls a, a nonprofit org called Project Heal. Mm-hmm. Which helps those who are formerly incarcerated, and Troy is part of this as well. As well, and he's the director of community engagement. Now, I cannot tell you the journey I went on looking for this organization. Did you find it? No, no. Okay. Project Heal is an eating disorder organization. Oh. Okay, very prominent. Okay. Um, I tried different spellings. I tried different whatever. I could not find this thing anywhere. Anywhere. Interesting. Mm-hmm. So is it real, Amanda? No, no. First of all, how is she making money doing this? That, how that is she making enough me. money to give him a bouquet of money? That scares me. Because I hope she's not like scamming people. 
So Zarai is a single mom and she tells us, Amanda, she doesn't worry about money because she believes she attracts it. Mm -hmm. She's manifesting. So she spends freely. She manifests. It's fine. And she has spent about 50K and she's even giving him a ton of cash when he comes out. And Zion is like, look, he's going to come out. He's going to have a nice house. He's going to have a wallet full of money. He's going to be driving a car. What is his incentive to work here and do anything? Ding, 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 ding. ding. She has a very gnarly tattoo of his name up the side of her body. Oh, God. It looks like it's a brand. It looks like one of those like 80s slasher movie. Like, yep. That font for like a poster. Yep. Yeah. At which point he's like, she's like, no, this is real. Look at my tattoo. And her sister's like, oh, it looks like a brand. (laughs) It does. It's not good. Hey everyone, stay tuned. Little Miss Recap will be right back after these words. So later, Zariah goes to visit Patrice, her psychic and astrologer. Of course. And uh, she says, I don't believe in the concept of religion. I believe in energy. I believe in crystals. Okay, hey, you do you, girl. Whatever. Whatever. Patrice asks her spirit guides. Okay, so here's Patrice. Let me get... <laughs> Let me get. Do we need my um, tarot cards? They're we open now. We, okay, yeah. So start start thunking your cards okay. together. Hold on, I'll here. be Patrice. I just need the sound effect of the cards thunking. Okay. Spirit guide, spirit guide, spirit guide, spirit guide, spirit guide, and angels, angels and spirit guides. Tell me what's going on, with Troy. Tell me what's going on, with Troy. Okay. So the answer is, uh, you guys Not need good. to work on your communication. He has a lot to talk to you about. There will be drama when he comes out. I mean. Clearly, she has seen an episode of Love After Love. <laughs> then it's then it's spirit. I don't believe spirit guides. Will... Spirit guides. Is he telling the truth? Spirit guides. Angels. Jesus Christ. Baby in heaven. Tell me now. Tell me now. Jesus Christ. Angels. Spirit guide. Tell me now. I was like, what is happening here? <laughs> I don't believe her as much as I believe the psychic that Olivia and Lydia Grace went to. Mm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Just saying. <laughs> so. I like that Zariah is totally falling apart during this, too. Zariah is like, will there be other females? Will there be other females? females? Patrice. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, spirit guides. Oh, baby <laughs> Lord Christ himself. Uh, what is... And then she goes, I see a mama. I see a mama. It's their baby mama. Dun, 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 dun. Of course there is. There's like 12, I'm sure. And Zariah says, will we work out? Spirit guides, spirit guides, spirit guides. More baby Jesus. More baby Jesus. Will it work out between uh, three of swords says no. <laughs> that's it <laughs> and Zariah believes this shit yeah she's like oh fuck so that's where we leave them mm. okay the, the, these two are gonna be interesting we're gonna head over to hope and arthur they're pretty interesting whoa whoa you whoa. know what know what hope reminded me of when i saw her um she should be in the movie with sylvester stallone where he is a arm wrestling truck driver over the top oh yes mm-hmm. yes mm-hmm. yes she sort of reminds me, it's just because of the hair. It's very she, pink. It's very pink. She reminds me of the crazy woman who has only one leg on Inmate to Roommate, just because they both have crazy hair. Oh, I'm not hair. watching that season. Oh, oh. Is it good? Should we have covered that? No, we shouldn't have covered it. There's no mm-hmm. Sharna and Bill. Yeah. You There's can't nothing that remember. good. That was lightning in a bottle. That will never happen again in our That'll lifetime. That will never happen again. <laughs> Sharna mm-hmm. will never happen again to anybody. No. But there's... My favorite is the guy who's really deeply interested in prison reform. Oh, yeah. I, I watched one episode and I saw that guy and I'm like, I totally would date it, this guy. Oh, God. This guy is such a loser mm-hmm. and such, such a nerd. A weirdo. Yep. Such a weirdo. And like literally picks Aaron up from prison and is like, let's go to a, a march for, you know, justice reform. And he's Amanda, like, Amanda, this would have been me. I want a shower. Like, this would have been me falling in love with this guy. I know. Mm-hmm. I know. I know. So Hope is a me. truck driver with bright pink hair. She says men are surprised she's doing this herself and mm-hmm. guys hit on her all the time. Now, I'm a big fan of seeing a woman in a man's world. I, like I am this. too. I, Todd said, can you imagine how people treat her at truck stops? And I'm like, ooh, Ooh. it's probably real bad. I have a very good friend who became a police officer, and we Mm -hmm. used to talk about this a lot. Like, she was a female entering a male-dominated profession, Mm -hmm. and it was tough. It was really tough for her. I bet. So she makes very good money. I'm sure she does. And she calls, or he calls, Arthur calls, and says he's coming home tomorrow. Oh, I didn't do their little intro. Hold on. Hope and Arthur. Okay. Hope is 27. She's a truck driver. Mm -hmm. Arthur, 29, evading arrest, Mm -hmm. four years, Dallas, Texas. Okay. Okay. 
So Arthur calls and he's like, baby girl, I'm coming home tomorrow. Are you excited? Whoop, whoop. They met six years ago when he was locked up for stealing a car and evading arrest. A friend of hers had a boyfriend who was in jail and they were going together to see this boyfriend and love at first sight. Oh, God. These women. He wants. Her, OK, I'm going to say some words that I'm just not not used to just dropping, but I'm going to do it. OK. He wants her to get her pussy waxed right away. <laughs> just like he likes it <laughs> and hope says oh he's so fucking sexy he's so fucking sexy mm. arthur tells us the first time we had phone sex she came harder than she ever has in her life that's because she did all the work mm -hmm. and this is says, not a bragging right my dude you did no. nothing no you're on the phone dude you might have said some hot things but okay he says she wants a big ass wedding and he plans on doing it for her okay I'm not sure how you're going to pay for this, Arthur, but okay. The morning she's picking him up, she's puking. I'm like, oh, God, is she pregnant? But no. <laughs> no. <laughs> she says she and Arthur have only spent two months in the free world together, and even that was supervised. He was in a halfway house. So clearly mm -hmm. he has gone backwards. He's not doing well. No, he's gone backwards from the halfway house. Yeah, it's not It's not good. And that's why I was thinking they only had a short amount of time out. That I was confusing her with Zariah and the that's there's why a I few was, of them who only had a short time short time out. together out in the real world yeah so arthur's mom vanetta is there to get him and she's pissed because she hasn't slept and she's standing there waiting two hours on hope's pink haired ass hope is an asshole mom says this is my boy and hope is on my last fucking nerve and she's pissed because uh she doesn't trust hope and then hope shows up in a semi and mom even goes who brings a semi truck to pick somebody up from prison. Yeah, doesn't she have a regular car? Yeah, this was a weird choice. This was a weird yeah. flex. Yeah. So mom, Unless like, maybe he's like, I think it's so hot that you drive a truck. Like oh, that could maybe, be some of it. Maybe, maybe. Yeah. So she shows up and mom's like, what the fuck, dude? I've been here for two hours and clearly this isn't important to you. I wrote, the dress that Hope has on looks like a shower curtain with fake water drops <laughs> on it that has just been wrapped around her. <laughs> It's so With apologies bad. to shower curtains. It's so, even I would not wear something like this. No, no. I mean. Partially because they wouldn't sell this at Old Navy. But Never mind that it doesn't fit her body. She's not wearing the right size of clothing. Right. It doesn't fit her body. Right. It is just so plastic and so ridiculous looking. And she's wandering around this hotel room, taking her own sweet time, doing her hair. Yep. Which, if that's what. If that's what all that time to get ready produced, yeah, she too needs to go to the Olivia Plath School of Beauty. Like I need to go to the Olivia Plath. Like School I of need Beauty. to go too. Right. Mm -hmm. She needs help with that. But he's like, "Where are you?" She's like, "Ah, I'm like 15 minutes away." She's not dressed yet. No, no. I hate. I don't like this girl at all. This is going to be a dumpster fire. This is going to be bad. So. Hope hates this mother and she's kind of like, well, where have you been for five years? So we get this other, this is another reoccurring theme on this show is who's been holding him down. Right. You know, and Hope's been holding him down. For sure. And mom hasn't. Hope reveals they've had an open relationship while he was in prison. Because honey, she's got to get laid. She was banging around. She's horny. She's got to get fucked. And then he's like, never mind. I want to close that relationship. And she keeps going. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. What was the phrase that she used that was really funny? It's like, I basically I'm lying to him, but it was like some way of saying that she's cheating without saying that mm. she's cheating. It okay. was great. I forget what the turn of phrase was. Well, I mean, not like I have any notes taken, Amanda. No. I mean, so mom wants Arthur in Vegas with her and his sisters. Mm -hmm. Hope says it's up to him. And they're both like, OK, we'll see. So that's where we leave them. Dun, dun, dun. Letitia and Keith. Oh, good. Let's remind everyone Letitia's 37. She is a boss bitch accountant. Except she's gotten evicted from that space. And I'm t <laughs> I think her entire practice is like <laughs> under, you know, investigation for fraud. But otherwise, it's fine. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. she's Keith is 36. He's in prison for drug distribution. They've been married two years. They're in Davenport, Iowa. This is another thing. Last night, we met a couple at the Cider Place who were from Iowa. And Timmy was joking around. I can't even name a city in Iowa. And I said, Davenport. That's also where Ken and Barbie were from. Yeah. So we so we imagined they were. This is my reality. Right. You know, my reality. We knowledge. know these places. Yep. 
So Letitia's kid is reading her for filth and telling her she looks like she's plastic. Mm hmm. Okay. We all need a kid like this in our lives. Keeping you honest. Her older daughter hates her. I'm very worried about the older daughter. I am too. This kid Mm -hmm. is not okay. This woman is a terrible mother. Terrible mother. And I give a lot of leeway with mothers. I don't like to judge mothers. This woman's She's a, a terrible, terrible mother. mother. Letitia drives a Mercedes, and her accounting business is called Like a Boss Accounting. <laughs> Keith calls her, and he says, guess what? There's been a new law passed, and I get a two-point reduction, and I could be released any day now. She's running around screaming, my man is coming home. My man is my, coming home. In her business. My man. In her business. <laughs> They met through a mutual friend. They've been married for two years. We get a flashback, guys. If you didn't watch their Love During Lockup season, here's two major things that happened that you should know about. A, one of her employees probably banged him. Mm -hmm. It was unclear, but they definitely had some sort of relationship. For sure. Number two, she tried to put Keith in charge of the business. Make him like COO. He was going to run it from behind bars and a lawyer had to step in and be like, no, you can't have a felon run your accounting business. No, 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 no. This woman is dumber than a box of rocks. So she has spent 15,000. Oh, we remember too. This is another thing. She spent 15K out of his account. Right. To buy herself an engagement ring. Engagement ring, right. You may wonder, how does he have $15,000 in an account? We don't know. We don't know. We don't know. Mm-mm. Unclear. TBD. Unclear. I don't, so, I don't feel like Keith is on the up and up. Uh, She's going yeah, out on a limb. No. She's going out on a limb here. She is so horned up. She says she is going to get pregnant in the parking lot when she picks him up. Gross. Amanda. Gross. Between them, they have seven kids. Now, we know she only has two. Right. So if we're doing math, this dude has, has five, five kids. kids. Stop. And I'm, and Stop. I'm going to guess... Not from the same mother. And I'm going to guess he's probably not supporting them. He's in prison. Right. But he's got his account where he could get the the $15,000 for the ring. He needs to get out of jail. Mm -hmm. And he needs to start supporting the kids he has. Before he makes more. Before he makes more. Yeah. So Letitia flies home in her Muppet coat. She's got a real (laughs) Muppet coat on. And uh, Aunt Marsha's there. Now, we remember Aunt Marsha. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. She is um, Keith's aunt. Right. And she's like, and Letitia runs in. She's like, your nephew's getting an immediate release. She reminds us her older daughter does not like him. No, she does not. He calls, again, These they're putting these kids right on camera. <sighs> she, she has two kids. One is, again, we will not use their names or talk about them extensively. But it's important to know that one is very young, probably like mm-hmm. five or six. Yeah. And one is like 14, 15. So, again, no agency, no autonomy. Nope. Uh, He calls and Letitia puts him on speakerphone. The younger kid is like, congratulations. And Letitia's like, aren't you, to the older daughter, aren't you going to congratulate him? Congratulate him? On what? (laughs) For what? He did nothing. So uh, she's like, we can't wait. We can't wait. And older daughter's like, whatever. Whatever. Mm Mm-hmm. She says, now the older daughter tells the camera, and I'm sure she has said this to Letitia before. I wish Keith could just have his own space so we could get to know him before he comes and lives with us. That is a completely reasonable request from a teenager. Absolutely. Before you let this strange man come into my house, I'd like to get to know him. Mm -hmm. You know, like, Mm -hmm. I mean, I obviously not coming out of prison, but I, in the last couple of years, went through a period of meeting the the child of my partner. And yes. Taking the time to make yes. sure he's comfortable. Yes. I, you can't you can't rush this and you can't fuck it up. It's not fair. And I understand Keith coming out of prison probably doesn't have a lot of options of places probably to live, not. stuff like that, because we don't set people up for success in this country when they come out of jail. Correct. But would it be so difficult for Letitia to say, you know what, I'm going to help you out. We're going to get you a $600 a month, one room apartment. And you're just going to, we're going to do this for six months. Right. And you can spend Until as much time here as you want. Right. But we're, we're going to start with just some day visits. Like this daughter just wants to be heard. Yeah. That's and it. And her mother doesn't give a fuck nope. what she wants or needs. So the youngest daughter just bursts out into tears. Like this poor thing is just having an emotional reaction. Right. And the mm-hmm. cameras are there to capture it all. 
And she says, I just want daddy to come home right now. And Letitia tells the camera, my daughter deserves to be a daddy's girl and to be loved and to be protected. And Keith has stepped in even from behind bars. We're going to be watching you, Keith. I don't trust this guy. I'm it, watching you. Here's the, here's here's another part of her being a shitty mother. I'm sorry. She's not a good mother. This little girl wants her daddy. She's five years old. She wants her daddy. The, the, there's right. nothing weird about that. Right. Sure. The fact that she says to her, he might be getting out. Of, he might be getting out of jail any day now. No, you don't say that to the little kid. You say, once we know what the whole plan is, yeah, daddy's we'll, getting out yes. Tuesday afternoon. Yes. We're going to go pick him up. Yeah. And we tell you that on Monday. Yeah. Kids don't do well in this. With this ambiguity. Unknown. Yeah. It's yeah. not fair. Uh, are you ready to visit Shantae and True, your favorites? Yeah. Guys, they were on Love During Lockup. What you need to know is Shantae loves to cook. Mm -hmm. They were going to do a restaurant together. They She went for a consultation to some like Soul Kitchen restaurant, which yep. looked amazing. And the woman there who has her shit together told Shantae basically, do not do this. Do not do a partnership with right. this guy. And it'll take you at least two years to be profitable. So you better have a lot in savings to keep you going because – Opening a restaurant is really fucking hard. And we know from the Reddits and stuff that she has pretty much lost everything, doesn't mm -hmm. pay rent. Like, it's mm -hmm. bad. It's, it's bad. really bad. And also, trigger warning, skip over 30 seconds, one little thing on your thing. She was also sexually assaulted, and True kind of worked her through it. Yeah. So she feels very tied to him because yes. they're trauma bonded. Yes. Yes. So, Good yeah. point. So Shantae says, this is a fresh start. And she's like, I know he's going to want to kiss me. And I don't even know if I'll know how to kiss. It's mm. been a long time. She met him through her stepbrother in jail. She says the last couple weeks, she's been having doubts. And we see the flashback of his family telling her he doesn't date black girls. Right. She has a problematic stepbrother who clearly stole money from her Correct. and told her he knows true and true's not good. Mm -hmm. But he's mm -hmm. not good either. So whose word do you take there? Right. True says, I've never met Shantae in person. She always makes excuses of why she can't visit me. I think she just thinks so highly of me and is worried that I'll be disappointed. Uh. And every photo she sent him is, you know, filtered 17 ways to Sunday. It's not, it, it's not, it's not as bad as Candace with the stars. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> But even Candace unfiltered was way out of Andy's league. Oh, 100%. And Shantae is a beautiful girl. She is. But just meeting True for five minutes, he thinks he's going to think he deserves better. He sure is. Yep. He sure is. This is not going to go good. No. So he says he has talked to over 60 females since he's been locked up. Girls, who are all these women writing to this guy? Why is anybody writing to anybody in prison? I don't What's understand this. I mean, I could see how I would be doing it clearly. Because you you're garbage. But yes. like normal people shouldn't be doing this. No, no. We I need think a if you're doing this, it's a sign that you're broken. We need a support group for women who are writing to True. What is wrong? <laughs> so he says, but she's the one. She's the lottery winner. She sure. got him. She landed this plane. As she had the most money and kept getting it to him, I'm sure is what it was. She heads to the prison to pick him up, and she is ready to see her man for real, for real. And she's brought balloons that are a one and a three because he has served 13 years. I, I don't know if that's, that's worth celebrating. <laughs> it's a weird flex. It was weird. A, a, a good old congratulations balloon would have been. Yeah. Or, or just, welcome home. Just some balloons. Yeah. Just some balloons. Angelique is there, his sister with her kids. And the plan was to parole to Shantae's house. This is also something that came up in the infamous he doesn't date black girls conversation in the mm -hmm. restaurant last season, yeah. which was he's on speakerphone and Shantae's like, I got the house ready for you coming home. Right. And mom's like, what? What? He told what? me to get her. And he on the phone was like, oh, blah, 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 I don't know. I don't know. I gotta go. <laughs> so he comes out of jail and they hug and kiss. Mm -hmm. He tells the camera he's happy, and he says to her, do I smell like jail? In a confessional, he says he is overjoyed and says this is wild being free. And he tells us that he grew up in Chicago and was out on the streets. He never knew his father, which he says could be a big part of why I would like to get in trouble a lot. Mm -hmm. Ding, ding, ding. He says, I looked up to some really bad role models. This is the thing. If you're not there for your kids, somebody's going to be. 
Yep. That vacuum is going to be filled. Yep. And he says, I have a problem with authority. I love the thrill of robbing people. I, I mean, loved, loved, loved past the thrill tense. of robbing people. Don't have any interest in doing that anymore. No. Sure, true. He says he has a long rap sheet and that he was out for one day and decided to rob a bank. And Amanda, he caught 15 more years. Caught him. Caught him. That's, mm-hmm. They just flew right past him and he caught him. <laughs> so oh, he says Shantae was there for him. And he learned what love and loyalty was. She loves me. She checks on me. She calls me bae. She writes me. Now I can't wait to have some wine and some pussy. Okay. <laughs> There's just the seriousness with which you just said that. I can't wait uh, to have some wine and some pussy. Dear God. Okay. Kim and Joey, who may be the stars of the season. <laughs> you mean you mean Danielle Davis? April Davis. April Davis. Oh, Davis. my God. She looks April just Davis. like her. She looks just like her. Looks just like her. Where's Nick? Where's an amulet? Get them all together. Get the band back I together. I do not need the Manosphere on this show. No. Where? Mm-mm. Where's Jennifer? Where's April? Or, um, Danielle living her life somewhere else in the world yeah, with a better yeah, haircut? She's escaped. Yeah. She has escaped. And mm-hmm. she has a m- way better haircut. Yeah. She looks good. Yeah. I mean, at least her profile picture on Facebook, which Facebook keeps suggesting she and I be friends. Maybe you need to be Amanda. Should I friend her? Like, I'm not telling you what to do, but maybe if you loved a little Miss Recap, you would do it. <laughs> and report. Okay. Evidence report. Evidence report. Okay. Okay, Jasmine. <laughs> okay. All right. So Father Kim is fixing up Kim's car. Mm-hmm. And he seems like a lovely man. Everyone around Kim seems lovely. Oh, let me do their little yes, yes. Okay. Oh, I didn't do Shantae and True too. Shantae, 35, restaurant manager, true, 31, robbery, 13 years. They're in Independence, Missouri. Okay. Right. Kim is Kim is 38. She's a teacher's aide. And Joey, 39. Now I needed a lot of space for his crimes. Okay. Breaking <laughs> and entering. Larceny and identity theft. He's serving six years. They're in Eden, North Carolina. Okay. So, I mean, Kim's dad is just salt of the earth down there, mm-hmm. just, you know, filling her, her, changing her oil, you know, making sure that her distributor cap is tightened. I don't know what he's doing under there. He's doing car stuff. And she knows he doesn't support this, but she thanks him. She thanks him for, for faking it. Mm-hmm. And she says, in this small town, I was bored, but I was busy. Mm. And she says, since the age of five, I've never been single. <laughs> wow. <laughs> She's been married twice. The first marriage lasted two years, and she was already with the second husband when she signed the divorce papers from the first marriage. Mm -hmm. She's a serial relationship girl. Now, dad tells her, you know, I know you're going on this trip. I'll be tracking your location. I wrote, oh, my God, does this ever end? Do I will I have to be tracking my kids locations when they're 30? If they're trying to date prisoners, yes. If not, you're fine. I hope I could take my fucking foot off the gas at some point here. You can. You can. So she has known Joey since school. So here we have another Louis and Melissa. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. Um, They were always friends, but she always had the biggest crush on him. She says, he's got swag. Amanda, this guy looks so basic. Mm-hmm. This guy does not have swag. No, this no. guy is nothing. He is, he reminds me so much of my friend's brother. I can't. Oh, okay. I can't. It's, he's so basic. Okay. Okay. And my friend's brother, real problematic. Okay. Got it. Got it. Got it. Dad is worried. He's real worried. And uh, Joey tells us he was charged with obtaining property under false pretenses. So, you know, fence stealing some stealing goods, stolen goods. In his life total, he has served about 13 years. And how old did I say he was? Joey, Joey, Joey. 39. 39. Okay. All right. Not terrible. In 2018. I like how, I like how this show has completely desensitized us to the fact that, I mean, 39, he spent a third of his life in jail. It's not so bad. <laughs> I've seen worse. I've seen worse. <laughs> Remember Prison Brides, that Michael... Oh, who's God. been incarcerated for like 30 years of, yes. his, of his 40 years. Oh, yes. my God. Could you imagine a 10 year old in prison? <laughs> <laughs> I believe that's called juvie. I don't think like they- yeah. that's prison. Yeah. So this is I think this might be the situation you're thinking of. In 2018, when he got out of prison, he called her up. They started banging, but he was only out for 100 days. 
That might be what I'm Then he got of. arrested and sent back. In 2020, they reconnected and he proposed at a jail visit. Now, mm. dad says, look, I know he stole my fucking bike. He says, I just know it. It's in my gut. Dad says, I've known him for 30 years and somebody stole my bike. Mm-hmm. Dad says one night Joey and his cousin knew that he was going to be gone. And that night his $1,600, I'm assuming he's talking about a motorcycle here. Yeah. $1,600 motorcycle gone. God. I mean, people do have $1,600 mountain bikes and stuff, but yeah. didn't I'm going with a motorcycle. Mm -hmm. No. Dad says, if I could have proven it, I would have pressed charges. Then dad starts to cry a little bit. Justice for dad. I feel so bad for her dad. Kim says she has spent about $15,000 on Joey. She's bought a car and clothes and shoes. And she's, Amanda, she's had to pay off a lot of threats in prison. What the fuck? I don't know. Ugh. Now, this is going to get dark. Yeah. He calls her and he says he's had an opioid addiction for 20 years. And if you think about it, this kid is about that age mm -hmm. where, you know, he may have been prescribed something for a broken ankle on a football yep. field or something. And here yep. we are. And here we are. And we go from oxy to fentanyl to. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So um, he says, I just want to do methadone. Like he's like, I want to get on the medication. I'm assuming he's talking about methadone. Mm -hmm. And I want to do this the right way. Like mm -hmm. I need to do this a certain way. So I, I hope that works for him. I hope he means that. Yeah, me too. Actually, I'm sure he means that. I hope he can do it. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. So she says they'll be getting married in six months, but I'm still married to husband mm -hmm. number two. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So hopefully my divorce will be final in three months and I'll buy us a little bit of time. Now, she has a babysitter who I'm calling Large Marge, which, as you know, <laughs> was from Pee Wee's Big Adventure, the truck driving woman who scared the fuck out of me when I was a kid. She scared the fuck out of all of us. She's wearing a plaid shirt. Uh -huh. She looks like Large March in the she movie. She does look like Large okay. March. Now that you've said that, yes, yeah. it's very true. Her name's Jennifer, but we're going to call her Large March. Okay. So she's watching Kim's kids. Kim's kids. And Kim says, oh, thanks for watching the kids. I was checking on Joey's car. And Large March is like, say what? You got this guy a car? What are you doing? She, she's a lovely friend. Mm -hmm. Large March is like, girl girl large marge is like i know i've known this fucking idiot for 30 <laughs> years too and uh i good. know that kim kim has shitty taste in men mm -hmm. and this is mm -hmm. not good nope. nope so they sit down with mountain dew and a red bull to chat you do? Mm -hmm. i've never had mountain dew really really i've had it it's not great yeah i've never had it not great and we have it in our house because todd occasionally gets like the mountain dew zero yeah, likes that from time to time. Never had it. Mm. It's also like I've never had Taco Bell. Like there's just things. I've never had Taco Bell. Yeah. I'm not a soda person. I know you're not. I am. But, but I will have a nice Coke sometimes. Mm. A nice regular Coke. I like a fountain Coke if I'm hungover. That's a real fountain good. Fountain Coke is amazing. Is a good a thing A McDonald's Coke is amazing. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, uh, all right. she's ha She says they're talking about the car. And Kim's like, look. Joey having a car will be nice because he could pick up the kids when I can't. I wrote, please don't let this guy pick up your kids. Please. Oh, God. She's got two beautiful She's looking for a mother's kids. helper. Yeah. Yeah. She's not looking for a partner. She's looking for a mother's helper. Get that. Now, Large Marge says something interesting here. She says, you are addicted to addicts, basically. Mm-hmm. Kim says, well, she's not wrong. My ex was an alcoholic and I put up with it until I couldn't. And now she starts sobbing and she tells the camera, I haven't felt love in seven years. Large March tells the camera, I'm very concerned about him relapsing. I'm giving mm -hmm. this 40% chance of working out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I think that's generous. Now, we do not talk about the kids a lot here, but I just need to run these names past you. We will okay. never say their names again. Okay. But I just need you to know that this woman has two kids named Kaysen and Kyler. Mm-hmm. Okay. And they're very cute. Okay. Kaysen and Kyler. Kyler. Okay. These are not. Okay. With okay. with K's, guys. With, with K's. K's. Okay. These kids are adorable, though. Okay. So Joey calls, and he's reading the kids a bedtime story from prison. And these kids are 
one are kid piled up to eleven. One kid is thrown a huge fit, doesn't uh-huh. want to be there. No, nope. the other kid is staring off into space, fully engaged in picking his nose, <laughs> fully engaged in it, <laughs> going in deep. I was over and over. I was, I I was a nose that. picker when I was a kid. I was too. Yeah. So that would have been me just wink, 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 <laughs> digging up there. What am I looking for? The television. Yeah. <laughs> and my mother like <laughs> slapping my hand down going, stop You it. know what? I honestly think that's what broke my habit of it is my mother just used to like embarrass me every time mm. I was doing it, even in public. Yeah. So like I think it just, you know. Yeah. So she says. Look, <laughs> so take it. These two cracking kids, me up. <laughs> these two kids, their father's uh, a real dick bag, and I wish Joey was their dad. We don't. No, I don't think don't. this is a better choice, girl. She says this is the relationship I should have been in when I had kids. Nope, nope. The next morning, Tammy, Miss Tammy, Joey's mom comes on over, and she says, "Good morning, Kimberly. She is a good Christian woman. Yes, she is." Kim says, Miss Tammy's watching the kids for a few days, and I'm going to take Joey away to a cabin in the mountains and fuck his brains out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Kim says, Tammy has been solid for her, and she has so much respect for her. Kim says, Miss Tammy has helped me out with everything. She's been good to my kids, and Miss Tammy seems lovely. Yeah. Miss Tammy's probably like, I can't believe I have to deal with my addict kid coming out of jail again. Hopefully and, this situation and again, works out. Again, this is probably a situation where all of his crimes are related to his addiction. Mm-hmm. So if we treated the addiction, probably which would was, not have a which criminal. Probably started because of big pharma. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So Tammy tells the camera, "This has been a very long road, and it's time for change. And I'm praying for Joey to meet a good Christian woman. And my prayers are coming true. Sure." On her way to the, and this is how the episode ends. On April Davis's way, Kim's day, Kim's way to the prison. Kim slash April Davis. Joey calls, and we get, <clears throat> yo yo yo. There's some chick named Ashley who called me and said you were fucking her husband and hugging up on some light skinned dude. Are you fucking someone else? Dun, this dun, came dun. out of the blue, <laughs> right? And she's just kind of like, Ugh. she's just yeah, like, what? <laughs> <laughs> what? Huh? What? And Look that's how we end, Amanda. That is our first inaugural episode of this season of Love After Lockup. This is going to be entertaining. This is going to be entertaining. It's going to be a good one, guys. Oh, Buckle these up. These pe- is this the first? Is this is the first time we've never had a woman in prison? We I do. Mean, it, we do have a woman. Oh, in prison. we haven't met them yet. Yeah, her name. So we have two couples we didn't meet we yet. Met. Okay. Julian and Christine, and Christine's in prison. Okay, got it. And Bianca and Daniel. Okay. Who looks like Daniel Radcliffe, who looks like Harry Potter. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So we got that situation. Mm-hmm. All right. So, guys, if you enjoy this and you want to hear us talk about Sister Wives and Cults, bump up to that $8 tier. If you want to hear us talk about Gen X stuff, My So-Called Life. Yep. Bump up to $12. If you want to just stay here at Murder Club, stay here at Murder Club. We love awesome. having you. We do. Mm-hmm. We do. Uh, jump in our Facebook group. Back to our friends. friends. Many of you have have heard my plea and have subscribed to us on YouTube. Please do so if you haven't already. Like Amanda said, you just click that button and never look at it again. Exactly. You never have to go back. Yeah. All right. Amanda, thank you. My pleasure. Thank you for having me. Friends, thank you for spending this day with us. Am I dropping this today? Yes. Yes. Here's yes. to the criminals. So... May you may may Jesus be with you today, Miss Tammy says. As uh, on the Lord's day. On the Lord's day. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks so much. We'll see you soon. Take care, everyone. Bye.